this year was a year of transformation for me. Like I took a, a huge leap of faith in the beginning of the year in February. I moved out on my own for the first time. And so that was like a scary thing for me because not only the fact that, you know, I never did that before, but soon after that, like a week or two right after, COVID happened. So it was a lot of fear that that um, that I experienced in that time, but it taught me patience, learning to just like chill out, just like sit back and relax. And even though things might look a little scary and you don't know what the outcome is gonna be, just have faith that everything is gonna work out. It taught me communication with my family and friends is so important um, because we weren't able to see each other in person anymore. So it's like, we had to communicate over the phone and things like that, check in on each other, make sure every everything is good. If you know me, you know I'm terrible with communication, so that kind of helped me in a sense, and it, it helped the relationships in my life. COVID-19 is like new, so how, is that going to affect me? How is that going to affect me? One day I, I got sick and I was just like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And I didn't know if it was the virus. It was never confirmed if it, if it was the virus because I, I was too scared to even like go out like to the hospital to get tested. So I literally just like called up my siblings. They work in the medical field. I told them what was going on and they told me like, just stay home and this is what you need to do. I was going through it. Like I had all of the symptoms of COVID and I didn't know if I was gonna make it. On top of that, I'm living by myself. I had to self quarantine, so I'm literally like isolated in like this bubble. Me getting sick made my family really just reach out to me, make sure I felt supported, make sure I had everything that I needed, um, made them encourage me. And that's something that I've never really experienced with, with my family, that type of, that level of like support and just like, I'm here for you and like, it made my family closer, to be honest. It made me feel like I wasn't going through it by myself, but we were going through it together, kind of. This year, I think Thanksgiving is going to be one for the books because it's really easy to take people in your life for granted, but with everything that's happened this year, it's kind of hard to do that. We all individually have been through so much in our own personal um, lives. So it, it's going to feel amazing because I know I'll be able to just, despite everything that I've been through and my family has went through as a unit, knowing that we can come together and just appreciate the fact that we're all still here by the grace of God. Um, <laughs> that's, that's literally going to be like the feeling, like just grateful that we all got a chance to just wake up and be together, love on each other, and just never take that for granted.